Hi folks, and uh, welcome to my next league match in season uh, 40. This time versus Swordfish Trombone. Uh, fun fact, both uh, uh, Apostles Ruler and Swordfish Trombone are Greek. So yeah, that's the first two marches in the season going to be versus Greek players. And um, uh, another fun fact about Swordfish, Swordfish Trombone, he, he always likes to uh, play with the two to four landmark uh, not uh, landmarks but uh, landscapes so i'm gonna have uh, three in this one well, i mean i'm i'm okay with that i wouldn't play uh like that every time but uh, if he likes to to do that in his matches well i'm all in for that for you know we can do that once in a while anyway let's see what actually is going on here uh no village right no village and no draw basically uh, it looks like some kind of goon's uh, money thing to me. He, he gets jack, that's reasonable. What's the bane for the young witch courtyard? Not the best bane here, so... Uh, I think I kind of like jack and maybe we should go into something like Jack with some cherry races. Oh wait, there is a masquerade. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Actually, yeah, I kind of missed that. <laughs> Didn't see the elephant in the room. So, in this case, maybe you just go mask silver, get rid of some. Uh, I don't know. Let's go with Jack. I feel like those silver is gonna be really good. Um. Maybe uh, it gets mask. And you know what? I think I'll get a sewer and I'll go ahead and grab mask on this uh, this shuffle. I mean, yeah, I get it. Mask can be like really, really good, um, and I kind of want it, but. I don't, I don't really see this opening war working. Like Masquerade Jack, they are going to collide like all the time. Well, they didn't collide here for him apparently. So mm, he demands, he demands for. Cherry race, but that's a bit weird because uh, no, I mean, I can also do that, I can also demand, but in this case, whatever I play is going to miss the shuffle. So, I well, I guess I, I don't necessarily need to play the horse, right? Yeah, let's do that. Mm. Yeah. Oh wait, I yeah okay. I need to concentrate. I you know, I, I have a weird feeling like every single league match I play, the first game is kind of you know, I I feel like I'm a, a bit you know, uh, not fully concentrating or maybe I should take a habit of playing a Dominion game before the match, just with somebody. Uh, all right, let's play the chariot. Oh, hey. Uh, I guess I can just play this horse, right? Discard the crab. Uh, yeah, 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 sure. Uh, discard the copper, sure. Kill the state, and I'll get the mask. All right. Mm. So... From now on, all the terminals I'm going to get are going to be goons. And on 5 and 4, we're going to get chariots. Huh? I think so.
that's his uh, second chariot. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm kind of lucky with those chariots there. Uh, not very lucky with this draw, though. But okay, let's discard the mask. Trash, and I'll get the goons. Uh, yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing very nice. I mean, it was not good to um, discard the mask, but uh, it's minor thing. And uh, I, I got the goons, and I'm going to hit. Uh, hey, actually, I'm not sure if this, if second goons is the best thing for me to do right now. Uh, because the alternative would be to obviously uh, demand for a cherry race. Uh, kind of like demand, to be honest. Let's go for it. Because I feel like this deck is still a bit too... Uh, it's kind of too thin right now for a ter my terminal action number four. He got uh, back those uh, points. I mean, yeah, we gonna all have the same amount, so we both thrashed all the estates, apparently. He trades a couple of coppers, that's good. Uh, I know my top deck is coppers, so let's play the horse first. And hey, ain't that nice. Um, Oh, he also revealed the goons. Okay. So, I can trade here. Trade looks good. I don't get the goons point the points for that, but it, it's minor thing. Uh, or I can hit eight, and that's like demand and another chariot. I don't really care about you know how many chariots do I have. Are there other? Uh, yeah, let's trade like that so it looks like we're gonna play the mask here after all probably gonna draw the dead jack dead yeah ain't ideal but sure let's get rid of the uh, copper honestly i could have been kidding the jack how, uh, how do i like this idea uh, probably I don't like it all that much because coppers are just so bad and I'm happy to kill one. Hey, that's a nice uh, cherry race reveal for him. Um, what's on top? Silver? Okay, I'm gonna play the jack here. I'm probably gonna... Well, if I draw six, which I'm very likely to do, I'll get a second goons this turn. And then we'll just start to get some, you know, some golds maybe, like probably third goons and some golds, I don't know. Let's start buying promises. So he gets up to eight. And goes for a couple of chariots. I'm, I don't know. I, I, at, at this point, okay, that's a, that was a fine, fine draw. At this point, I think you just want the want more goons because uh, usually with chariots, it's just uh, well, that's that's less than ideal. He's ahead on, on this count, uh, but yeah, usually with chariots, it doesn't really matter how how many of those do do you have. It's just uh, it's better to have the better deck. So, mm, here I feel I need to kill those uh, coppers. Yeah, definitely should be a trade for me. Right? I can only kill one copper and get the cherry race. But, and ain't worth it, I think. Let's just kill the coppers. And I don't, don't want any of those cheap... Uh, like, I don't want the bone. It doesn't... nothing, I think. And I keep... keep top decking the coppers. I think I, like, have what... Uh, I think I have two coppers left or something. Uh, so it sucks for me to top deck those. Uh, Alright, hello copper. And... Um, uh, 
well what I can do here I can actually trade again is that crazy uh, is it better than just getting like gold I can also get a couple of chairs mm, I don't know Hmm. Let's get the gold. All right. Apparently, I have three coppers left, and he keeps finding those. You know, I was never in the hate. Let's hate uh, on cherry race camp, but mm, this game, huh? I don't. I don't like that at all. Oh, uh, yeah, damn it. All right, let's get the gold. Hmm. Having five silvers in hand, at least I don't need to uh, click anything. So he got the last cherry races. He's massively ahead in points. I, I'm not sure why, but he is. Hmm. Well, he also bought a prince. So, do I want the third goons now or just another goal? I think like third goons. I just want to, you know, always have goons. Uh, he's going to mask me. That's going to be slightly annoying. Uh, but, uh, oh well. Here is the check. Yeah, I'm uh, kind of losing this game, apparently. It's just, you know, it went like, oh, hey, we are like doing the same stuff. And then like, oh, hey, apparently I'm losing the game. So. <laughs> mm. But that's a uh, province for me. I mean, it might be okay still. I have more goons. I actually have the golds, so it's not it's not like it's over. And in fact, I am, yeah, I almost uh, caught up with him here. I just uh, there was a shuffle where he. Uh, I still discard the jack, right? I ain't gonna play the jack here. Yeah, I'm gonna play the goons. So yeah, there was the shuffle where he like triggered uh, every single chair race of his. So, but uh, yeah, we are not dead yet. I just need to score a bit additional points maybe with the chair race, chairs. And actually, this shuffle was very good for me, and I'm ahead in points now. So I need to stop whining. <laughs> Apparently. All right. Now, uh, well, I guess uh, I'll, I'll just settle for Dashi here. Well, that's okay. Let's see what he does. I mean, yeah, I, uh, he gets more. Oh, he gets sages. Really? No, uh, wait a sec. Bone and the sage. Uh, I think it sucks. Huh. Um, yeah, I, I don't see that. All right. This, uh, obviously hitting seven like that with no goons and yeah it's less than ideal but oh, oh well he has a silver down there well that is also less than ideal where are all my goons it's like two turns already with no goons so pretty pretty bad i can't really possibly go ahead and buy the price here it would suck a lot yeah less than ideal 
And here are the jacks. Uh, I still am going to discard the jack here, right? Yeah. It's, uh, He might he might go for it because he knows. Uh, yeah, he knows I have a jack on top and I only have a three card hand, so and I can't I can draw up to eight with Jack, but I can't really buy Provence because he has goons in play, I will not if I uh, play the jack. So it might be not the worst uh moment for him to yeah, to go for it. Okay, at least I got some uh, additional points here, and this next hand gonna have. Well, actually, it's gonna have like a couple of goons and a gold too. I think. I think there is a gold in there, but uh, that must be just double estate for me. Ah, so if he doesn't hit me. Oh, never mind. Well, mm, he's not quite there yet, but uh, yeah, the, like the previous shuffle was like very good for me. This one, not not so much. Uh, then again, just Dutch estate, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I kind of need to do it. Right, that's a Provence reveal, which is good, I guess. So that's a free point for me. But, uh, you know, every turn we are not buying the Provence, it's like... Uh, oh, wow, wow, wow. That's bad. And I, I top deck the goons there, so I'm I don't really want to play this uh, jack. Oh damn it! Yeah, I can't really do it. I mean, I just need to hope that he doesn't have it here and he does not attack me here. But uh, yeah, he has goons. Uh, and I have a sewer down there. Hmm. That's a pity. This game was, you know, I. Yeah, I kind of, you know, I, uh, you know. I'm not sure how I feel about this game. All right. Uh, I it, it was me uh, being second player, right? So I got to get, I got to go first now. Oh hey, by the way, I forgot about that. But uh, actually, people were asking me for a while to do this before the game start. Uh, for the YouTube sake, like the kingdom, you know, but our kingdom view thing. Uh, I always resisted that because I never used it myself. But you know, apparently it it would be helpful for some people. So let's try and not forget to do it. And the client just froze, <laughs> so <laughs> maybe uh, that's not the best thing to do. But, uh, oh, hey, so mm, that's a lot of trash for a single board. Uh, we have uh, Junk Dealer and Chapel, and I have 5 2. So I might as well open with both. Uh, we have Delph and we have Changeling. So that is something potentially, but other than that, no gains, right? Well, 
We have Transmog as well. It might be something silly like Dachi Duke, to be honest. Um, is that true? I mean, it might as well, right? Because, yeah, if like, I can see the deck, like, mm, some ironmongers, like, decent amount of ironmongers, and then a lot of silvers, and then a couple of transmogs. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think that should you kind of should work here. It should be better than Brian's. I don't see. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's open Junk Dealer Chapel for maximum traction. I can also go with like uh, Junk Dealer Delve, but hey, we can just trash a lot of cards. Yeah, it was less than ideal to draw both, but whatever. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's less than ideal that I only hit three here, but oh well. Because uh, I would really like this Transmog or like an Ironmonger, but I guess we'll just get a Sewer. Uh, that's fine. So here I think I only trash uh, Copper Estate and get the uh, Silver and uh, I have no reason to get the Changeling now, right? Okay, and this is gonna be a Transmog for me. Transmog and Delve maybe. It's a uh, first uh, Ironmonger. Yeah, he's, he has this uh, Sheepdog already. Sheepdog's nice here, definitely. Um, yeah, hate to draw this much money, but so oh well. Uh, so Delve Transmog, right? Hmm. All right. I'm not like getting the best draws here, let's just say. But uh, on the other hand, like, what exactly are the draws that I expect? So. Mm. He sets the transmog up, gets the sewer. So. What's what's left in my deck? It's a uh, junk dealer and like three silvers, I think. Uh, yeah. Looks like it. So I'm gonna trash the chapel, turn a silver into transmog. Into I mean into ironmonger. And you know what? I think I might go for a changeling here. Uh, yeah. Uh, should I trash two or should I trash one? Honestly, I don't know what's better. Let's just trash one. Uh, Delve and Changeling. So this is going to become an Ironmonger. And if I can draw my changeling with that, that would be very nice. Mm. Yeah, he has three sheep dogs to my zero. I kind of 
you know, maybe kind of want to see how he started. So he opened Chapel Transmog, turn three, uh, got uh, placed the Transmog and bought the Sheepdog. All right, you can you can play that Sheepdog the turn you you Transmog into it. I missed that. Mm, yeah, and probably that's uh, quite a significant interaction here. And my 5-2 opening, which could have been like super great, did not like, mm, didn't, didn't become like super great, just. So now I'm, I guess 4 Iron Mongers, sorry, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm pretty much uh not winning this game apparently oh let's kill the chapel right mm, yeah at least we got the change link here so definitely gonna be another change link and probably just more iron mongers all right Although, maybe it should have been a sheepdog. All right. Additional transmogrify would be very nice for me, but I didn't want to buy it the last turn because then I would have two of those outside of the mat, and I, I don't necessarily want He doesn't have any change links now. Probably has like three silvers. Oh, never mind. He doesn't have any silvers apparently. That's change link and um, and what? And a silver or. Oh, damn it. Wow. I, oh my God, I'm so misplaying that. Wow, that's, yeah, okay. He's, he's playing it way better than I do because I totally missed this interaction. Like, so you can gain the changeling and uh, then react with the sheepdog and uh, exchange uh, this, uh, this turn. And yeah, okay. Uh, if I lose this one, that's, that would be totally deserved. So let's uh, keep this jungler on top, obviously. Keep this transmog on top. Uh, didn't draw the changeling though, but oh well. Uh, I feel like I need to get uh, this ironmonger because otherwise. Uh, Otherwise, uh, he just gets them all, and I don't want that to happen. And I got the change link so that. No oh, way, hey, that actually sucks. This draw that I didn't ha don't have any silvers in hand, because I what I wanted to do I wanted to transmog one of the silvers into a sheepdog, and apparently I would need to transmog a change link into a sheepdog, which is actually fine, I guess. Yeah, so he'll get, he'll end up getting uh, six ironmongers apparently. Mm. And we'll probably be able to get more, uh, more sheepdogs this turn as well.
I expect he uh, changes the changeling for uh, Ironmonger here. Gets Donal. Well, Donal is not crazy because you know with the he has like six Ironmongers in the deck. One day you're gonna reveal this tunnel, but you know, maybe you won't reveal it. You know, uh, change link for a ship dog. Play the ship dog. Keep the sewer. What's the last card? Uh, must be a sewer, right? So you're gonna keep that as well. And that. And uh, kill the copper. It would have been great to transmog the chunk dealer, actually. So that's going to be Delve Duchy. I mean, I think so. Uh, we're going to get another ship dog here. All right. Well, and let's see how it goes. He still has the chapel. Uh, he still has a couple of coppers, which is funny. Uh, I don't necessarily like him reacting with sheep dogs. I think it's actually a a actively bad, right? Because then uh, when he plays all his ironmongers uh they they won't have anything to reveal so he he loses some money doing it this way on the other hand maybe he he like he doesn't have the whole of treasure maybe he already has uh, had everything in hand or something um So I expect him to just get the dashi here, or like maybe borrow, yeah, delve and dashi, and that makes sense. I uh, kind of don't like, well, more changeling, huh? Uh, well, I don't know. Why would you want another chain? I think you just want sewers more. Hmm. Discard that. You're gonna. Uh, would be nice to reveal that. Ah, oh, never mind. So the last two are Iron Mongers. Yeah, that's not the best draw, but oh well. I mean, obviously, I I have no. Uh, no reason whatsoever to play the ship dog now. Okay. And yeah, that was not great. <clears throat> so I might kill one of the ironmongers here for a dashi. I'm not sure I like his changeling, this last changeling, right? I'm not I don't I don't see what it does really. I guess he can get like a transmog. Well, yeah, I guess that, but, or like another sheepdog, but uh, it's kind of, I don't know, maybe you just want the uh, silver. Mm, so he eats eight, that's like a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Might go for a bronze. That's funny how nobody plays Dutchy Duke these days, right? Because I remember, like, uh, I don't know when I started to play the game or like a bit later than that, even like maybe six or like seven years ago. Dutchy Duke was like, oh, hey, Dutchy Duke's on, Duke's on the board. You're probably gonna play Dutchy Duke. Like, people were playing Dutchy Duke like always. And now it kind of seems like, oh, hey, you're playing Dutchy Duke. Hey, that's something new. 
Uh, you know what? One thing I can do, I can actually get a hang. Uh, that might be annoying for him because he doesn't have a chapel. He still has a couple of coppers. But also that'll... Um, uh, I'll spend the transmog play, which I don't really want to do. And also, I mean, he has his transmog. He can transmog his like uh, silver or like change link into into a chapel. That would be easy. And he still, he kind of wants to do it anyway, in my opinion, to get rid of those coppers. Maybe uh, I won't do it. Uh, let's discard this stupid. Well, actually, I'll keep this stupid junk dealer on top, so I I won't reveal it any. any anymore kind of want to reveal my silvers rather so what's on top ironmonger and probably a silver or like yeah all right oh uh, delve duchy yeah like i'm <laughs> Uh, you know what? I could have, I could get uh, another sheepdog here, out of my. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's ask for undo here. If I can pull this trick, let's do that. Uh, change link. Sheepdog, yeah. Uh, let's get the duchy and let's get another sheepdog. Okay. Mm. So I have three dashes now. And I still have the transmog. He only has one change link. So sheepdog pile out is not too close. Yeah, it's trash this ironmonger for a dutchy. All right. Oh hey, he gets the gold. We uh so mm. and you know what this promise was probably correct just because you can't yeah yeah i get it it was correct because uh because of the piles you can't go with dashes forever and i don't uh, i don't think like taking this last change link was like very bad for me or anything because you know, a change link in the pile is just nothing with the delve. It's just uh, you can. It's like as if it's it isn't there at all. Uh, so what can I do here? Not much, huh? I can uh, get two dashes, but. Uh, Oh, yeah, that just uh, doesn't cut it. So I guess I should aim for two dukes. Let's go for it. At this point, we're definitely playing all the shit dogs. Uh, leave this one on top. Do I want the ship dog on top of the deck? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, let's get a second duke, all right. Okay, that's a nice draw. I mean, it definitely could have been way worse than that. And um, let's see uh, how good he can draw. Apparently not all that great because uh, yeah, that's just a single sheepdog. Gets a dashi, huh? 
All right, so this dash gives me five points, but oh well, I can't, I can't really do it uh, because I'm a second, I'm a first player, so I will lose on the tie. Keep the silver, keep that. That's a really good draw. That will probably mean uh, the next hand is going to be terrible. Let's discard the silver so that. I I still would have a little chance at least to get back to my ironmongers. Uh, let's just get the duke and and pray. Right? I'm not miscounting anything. I have two dukes, so the dash is going to be five points. Yeah. Oh, sure. I play the sheepdog. Okay, and didn't I didn't put the transmog on the mat? That would maybe help. So he would need to fail to draw to get three coins in hand, which would be very hard for him to do, to fail to do that. Oh yeah, <laughs> but apparently that's what happened. But, you know, I'm still really far from being guaranteed to, to draw here. Wow, he has a terrible shuffle there. With the amount of, uh, I don't know what this estate does to him. To be honest. Uh, all right, let's play the ironmonger, a silver. Uh, well, I guess I keep that. And uh, try to draw another one. That was planned all the time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I he definitely played this one better, especially at the start with like uh, I I totally missed this uh, synergy. Yeah. And he must have had a terrible shuffle, this last shuffle of, of his. Because with the, this many iron ironmongers failing failing to draw two turns in a row. Yeah, that was quite unlucky for him. So what is this one about? Uh, no actions, right? Well, we have toil. We have toil, so that that counts for something. Uh, what's going on here? I mean, yeah, Stuart, okay. Uh, Hermit. So my. Can we do something like? Uh, can we do something with like grooming things to forge them into provinces or something crazy like that? And I don't think f toil is that good of a village. Uh, it feels like groom should be good no matter what here. But probably gonna just open with the hermit. He gets a jack. Okay. Uh, that's bad. That's like stupidly bad, actually. Hmm. Mm. All right. Uh, let's draw a bit of this garbage. Well, sadly drew the coppers. I don't get the bath points because I get the madman, which is better than bath points. Uh, 
Oh no, yeah, I got the hermit as well, so. I'm not sure why I'm mentioning the bot points. So let's probably just get a sewer here. I can get a second steward. I mean, I just need to draw this madman, right? Yeah, let's get a second steward. What? Is it? <laughs> Why am I keep drawing this hand? Like, I mean, it's not a good hand. All right. Mm. Damn it. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, let's keep doing that. Uh, I don't want to tr play the steward now because because uh, I don't want to draw the madman dead. I have I have this very bad feeling, you know, this whole match. Like I mean, it's only game three, but anyway, like every every single game starting like very stupidly for me not only in terms of like draws or anything not necessarily in terms of draws but i kind of feel i don't you know don't have a good grasp on the situation uh what's left in there a steward a hermit a silver and a copper probably uh do i have a silver no, it's just two coppers. Yeah. Uh, feel like drawing. It's a pity we didn't hit the hermit in there. But um, what what do I do from here? One thing I can do. Well, I can just trash down, right? That that can you can't go wrong with that. I can trash four coppers in the state and probably like get a silver. Mm. Probably like another silver and would we'll try for the to go for the seer the next turn, like this turn. Trash the steward. Mm. Coins. Let's see here. That kind of sucks. So here I'll trash the cobras and get the groom. I feel like I, I'm mostly gonna want. Uh, the groom is gonna be kind of nice with the, to play with the toil, to like get a couple of sewers. On each play. Uh, he's ahead on. Uh, well, actually, he's ahead on sears. Should I just get a sear here? Uh, what if I draw? Uh, then again, what's uh, what's left down there? Seer, another steward. Uh, I still have this hermit. Uh, drawing. Well, what if I get the money? It doesn't. Yeah, more money doesn't help. Let's trash. I don't know. Get the groom. So yeah, I, I kind of like the groom more than I like Jack. Here, that draws everything. Uh, so, 
that I guess just I, I guess I just play the groom and uh, get us here. And I would want like all the sears. But uh, you know, I'm already behind on this front. I wonder if, um, yeah, and also I'm behind in points because he managed to get a buff a couple of times. I wonder if he gets the prions here. I think I think it should be bad to get the prions here. Because then I'll get a couple more sears probably and uh the forge. Maybe forge first. Maybe I can maybe I can, you know get the prions. Okay, I I think that I think it's bad. I think it's this board has a bit more to play than just that. Well, uh, uh, what did I bottom deck? Uh, those stewards and hermit are like extremely bad for me, obviously. Uh, all right, so I can't buy forge here, which I would. Actually, that would be great, but uh, I guess I'll just buy this here. So I can either I can either just uh, buy the sewer. I can uh, I can either play the groom and buy the sewer. I can trash the steward and hermit. Mm. Mm. You know what? Let's say goodbye to those two. <clears throat> That's not the greatest year for him. And not the greatest year for him again. I mean, <laughs> that shows how strong this card is, right? It's basically a lab, and uh, we are getting like uh, it's it's not good enough. So uh, two sears down there. Okay, uh, that should be a forge for me. Now, uh, what should I gain with the groom? Probably just. Probably just well, I can, I'm probably just sewers. Although I can get something like another groom, and that comes with the horse. Horse is good. Uh, potentially can turn grooms into prawns with the forge. Let's let's go with that. Uh, all right, and let's see what we can draw. So yeah, obviously the problem with Forge is uh, I don't really have all that, um, you know, my targets are not all that amazing. Cause, uh, okay, that was fine. Uh, so the last one is a Forge. Mm. All right, so how should I go about that? I can turn, uh, actually I can get some estates with the grooms. So I can get like estate now and uh, another estate and I can turn those estates into another f groom. Uh, that doesn't make the whole lot of sense, to be honest. Yeah, it's 
why would I want to do that? Uh, I can turn, actually, okay, I can turn estate and steward into seer. That is way better. Let's go for that. I think I like that. He doesn't have road network. Yeah, it's probably has too much of uh, opportunity costs in comparison with seer. Come on, we are frozen again. <clears throat> All right, let's get this estate and um, yeah, seer. Uh, forge, steward copper and estate uh, into another seer now that might be a province should it be a province so uh, I kind of I would need to, to play forge on my seer like to, to force seers and silvers into provinces this might be oh, damn it so what another silver and another seer here yeah I, I mean I need him to I need him to not draw. I need him to miss the province. But uh he's going good and I'm too far behind and those bath points actually kinda matter now. Hmm I need to draw more. Uh, Alright. Probably should stop here. Just uh, double bronze here. Uh, well, do I want to kill the grooms? I mean, I I probably do. I mean, I don't really see. Yeah, don't really see what else I can do with this. Uh, toil does nothing useful for me here. So yeah, just double bronze, and. I, I'm not sure what I'm hoping for, but uh, I surely hope for something. I surely hope that he's... Oh, okay, so that's that's uh, that's what I like to see. Hey, yeah, all these provinces, huh? But, it, yeah, he, st he still might have it. He still might have the province in hand. And even, even if he doesn't have the province, he can have the duchy and... Uh, oh, never mind, he just eats the province. Well, you know what? Let's resign. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Probably I uh, just fiddled around, you know, messed around a bit too much at the start of the game. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, we played three games, I think, and uh, he won two of them. All right. Mm. So that's my first player here. Uh, we have Wave the Mole. I have 5 2. Well, actually, I have 2 5, which is uh, uh, a big difference here because of the summon. If I would have 5 2, that would be like super great. Mm. So what should I do? Uh, I might mow this uh, necro, but probably I just take the five next turn and uh, still summon the temple, I guess. Uh, Village Green Forum is uh, an amazing synergy. Uh, workshop for wave. Yeah, okay, so that's a huge board basically. Uh, I think you do want to get the temple. Well, let's, let's try and go for that. Uh, he mows his necro. 
I'm going to summon, well, I can summon something else, right? I don't need to summon the temple. I can summon, like, uh, let's summon the temple. All right, it, it, it is good. That's a good draw. That's good enough, definitely. I, I get to trash three cards. I mean, what else? And yeah, that, that's very good. So he gets to, uh, he gets to gain uh, Willish Green. Uh, I get to buy a Warship, which is good. <clears throat> so what should I do here? I can, um, well, I can buy Willish Green, I can trash Copper, I can mull it all to play the Warship and gain Willish Green. Uh, kind of like just trashing the Copper, to be honest. And like... Mm, Another workshop. Uh, how about that? I think I, okay, that's that's an amazing draw, obviously. Well, the thing I said about the amazing draw, it, it's it's not applicable anymore, but it's still fine. So let's I guess piggy uh, this workshop. It might be better if uh, if I draw the temple. All right, that that kind of worked. Uh, I can get a wafer here if I really want to. Uh, so do I want to? What's what's down and down there? There's a village. Uh, I can play that. I guess for the next turn. Hmm. I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't. Oh, never mind. I, yeah. What What am I thinking about? I don't have a. I didn't have a village down there. All right. Uh, do I want an enchantress? Yeah, because I think it actually might hurt him some. Anyways, I'm kind of happy that uh, you know I, I've trashed a bit of cards here already. He takes the temple here, sure. Gets his second workshop. Mm, so I guess I need to play the village here. Uh, yeah, that's a bit less than ideal, but oh well. And yeah, you know what? Just just get a couple of villages, I guess. Uh, I can get the wafer here. Well, that would make sense. Or do I just want the villages because they are so important? Mm, let's just get the village. Yeah. So he's likely to attack me here. Oh hey, that's that was a bad turn for him. Mm, I'm probably just um, playing this enchantress as a mole. Oh my god! Uh, let's get the pageant, I guess. It's <laughs> it's not too useful, but whatever. So yeah, that was that was a very bad turn for me, but it's fine. This one's gonna be better. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna play a village. Oh, no, I'm gonna gain another one and mole those two. Yeah, play, and I want to do it now. And oh, uh, and yeah, play, and I want to do it now. Yeah, okay. Uh, generous worship. I think it's about time to get a wayfarer. 
and probably second and generous would be good at this point. All right, looking fine. I still would, draw, would like to trash more of those coppers, but uh, uh, not the top priority, I guess. You can just draw more. Mm. So he ain't gonna attack me here. I mean, uh, technically he can gain and play the enchanters, but most likely he won't. So that's good. Although, I mean, the, I guess uh, cantrip in the necro wouldn't, wouldn't have been all that bad, right? It's like digging through the whole deck, huh? Mm. Gets another village. Uh, I guess I'll just uh, probably I ain't gonna play the whole lot of moles this turn. Well, I guess I can play them. Mm, this uh, wafer as a mole. It uh, gives me what, as opposed to just uh, if I play two villages and a wafer, I draw five more cards and have uh, three actions. Uh, plus three actions, right? Mm. If I mole this wafer, uh, I just get... F uh, yeah, moling is worse, right? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll take the sewer. Uh, yeah. Well, didn't draw the enchantress, which is annoying. But oh well. Mm. So let's worship this uh, village green. Worship for another wafer. And uh, trash copper. I might, to be honest, I might just get another temple. It, uh, it'll give me, you know, a couple of points, which is not very important, but still something. And also, I think I'll just, you know, I just want to trash faster. Yeah, let's go for that. With two temples, I I think I'm gonna have enough draw now, and I'll just trash with in no time with two temples. All right, that's a very bad turn for him. Uh, I think I'll try to. Okay, workshop for the generous, and I'll mow this in generous. Play the village now. All right, here's, here's the wafer. I probably don't want more sewers right now. Yeah, I kind of want the sewer is going to be very nice for uh, to buy the forums, but uh, uh, probably want this deck to be a bit more stable now. A bit more st stable, <laughs> stable. Uh, yeah, don't gain now and. Uh, yeah, sure. Now let's play everything. Uh, play the enchantress, and uh, well, I can just uh, get rid of three cards here and buy another wafer. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have been keeping the copper and getting on uh, getting the forum. Instead, maybe it would have been better. Well, you know, I, f uh, I feel like I'm like extremely ahead here. Also, maybe I shouldn't have been trashing my necro because it's not such a bad card here, given the, you know, the limited number of villages. I can. Uh, I can piggy my workshop, my second workshop, I guess. I, I don't think I need to play two. So he, uh, he didn't buy anything. I think I, uh, he has zero wafers to my three, so I'm definitely in a very good shape here. 
Yeah, let's play this worship. Village now and village now. And once more. Wayfair, let's gain a sewer now. And how about another sewer? And what do I want to workshop for? I can honestly I can cheese a bit of those points, right? I can, you know, like get some some of those uh temple points. I can also get a plus by mm. but with the presence of forms I'm not sure it's all that important the plus by yeah. Uh don't need a third uh Encheris. Another Encheris right now. I'm gonna play two this turn already. Let's yeah, let's get some more points. So mm, Forum and Cheris. Yeah, sure. I feel pretty good about this one. And probably I can just start uh, I can just start buying like Forum, Province, a return and like get in you know, like get in some more sewers. Yeah, I, I should be very in a very good shape now. I feel like I don't I don't really need uh, additional buys. I mean, yeah, you can definitely try and build this huge thing with storms, and you can get like maybe like death card for a huge economy boost. But um, you don't have the whole lot of villages to do all of that, and uh, it's, there is nothing wrong with uh, just getting the forms because forms are very good for this deck. Alright, that's a good turn for him. Well, actually, in fact, hmm, if you if you don't play your villages and but discard them and play them this way, then actually you get more actions out of that. So my eternal space is quite quite big actually uh, so yeah maybe I should build a bit more that's a lot of clicking yeah yeah definitely okay uh, yeah with a lot of sewers and whatnot sure let's build a bit more so gain sewer get the storm uh, Gain sewer. Where is this storm? Okay, let's play a village. Now discard those. Play now. Mm. And uh. oh, wait a second. I I forgot to discard. I kind of wanted to discard. So discard the village and uh, wayfarer. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. I can play the village for the next turn. Uh, yeah, sure. So Encheris, Encheris, and kill that. I mean, probably I should have been counting the amount of money I can get here, but uh, let's get the forum and. Uh, Hmm, well, I can get like Temple Wafer. Might be better than just getting the bronze. Is it though? Hmm. Let's go for that.
I feel like, to, yeah, to be honest, I feel like it would be really hard for him to catch up at this point because I have those, uh, this nice and generous sandwich, you know, double layered. Mm, and uh, I have way more wafers and yeah. And I actually have trashed um, way better. So. Well, I still have. Yeah, I only have a copper left. So he still has. Well, he has four coppers now. I should be. I should be doing very nicely here. Trash is another copper. Uh, I wonder if he gets this temple. Yeah, okay, he does. But uh, starting from this turn, I should probably just go ahead and get the appliances because, you know, the piles are low and uh, yeah. Uh, he molds the enchantress. Uh, and that was his last enchantress, so he ain't gonna play one this turn. Uh, Alright. Oh, place temple number three. Alright. But he won't have the whole lot of money left, right? If any. If any at all. Mm. I think I. Yeah. I think I have something like five sewers. Yeah, that's not the, the whole lot of money. He might want to get a forum here, I guess. Gets away for well, uh, actually that that makes more sense for him, right? He needs he needs the economy. Gets a ruined village. Uh, you know what? I'm not a fan. Like why? You can yeah, I guess it's better than usual because you can mold it, but mm, I don't know. I don't I don't see that. Let's play a wafer first, gain a sewer, and play another one, and how about gaining a sewer, and now discard those two, and play, and now, and play, and now, and do it again. Uh, Alright, I screwed up. <laughs> yep. I, yeah, okay, I, I, I screwed up. Well, just a little bit, it's fine. Uh, hmm. Do I want to play the other one now? How do I not miss the, yeah, because right now if I play this village, I kind of miss, uh, I uh, miss the opportunity to draw a card. Let's not play it. Okay. So let's uh, actually, can I like end it or something? I don't think so. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to count and whatever. Let's uh, gain another sewer. So uh, I want to play both of those wafers, I guess. Uh, so I can discard seven cards because the village is also going to draw. Uh, actually, I won't really have. Oh, enough actions for everything uh, so one uh, and six more right one two three four oh hey there is a sewer already so five more uh, yeah six total okay confirm discarding village green play now uh, no I miscounted okay that means I can gain another sewer don't gain here, 
and generous and generous and kill those. All right. Hey, that's a lot of money. Mm, so two forms and two provinces. Looks good. I mean, maybe I could have gotten like another buy there, but I think there is nothing wrong with just getting those forms. And I don't think I, I'm leaving him a pile out or something. Get some sewers now. He's just playing uh, his villages. Yeah, that's that's not good. Him. He must have bottom deck uh, because he has a forum, right? So he must have bottom deck that, and probably bottom deck. He, so the last two cards are like forum and storm, I guess. For him, yeah, that's pretty unlikely for him. So yeah, he now he trashed his ruined library. I mean, why why would you why did you buy it in the first place? So it gets another storm. So the piles are like extremely low now. Hmm. Okay, he got this tab. I mean, really? Now I just win, right? Uh, yeah. All right, let's go for it. Uh, in this case, I'll pick the Enchantress. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna need to play the form here. Nice to draw another village. Mm, and we just need to find the storeroom. I don't want more sewers. Uh, I will have enough villages. Yeah, I just need to draw. Yeah, okay, it's it's all good. Discard those two. Play now and wow, that's a lot of clicking. Mm. All right, uh, I am not missing anything. Oh, uh, two temples, buy two wafers, that would cost eight, yeah. Okay, workshop for temple, workshop for, I'm ahead on points, right? Yeah, storeroom, confirm, confirm. Uh, one and two, okay. All right. Mm. So that was four games and we are tied now. We're going for hour and a half. So it ain't gonna be like a short one apparently. Well, that would depend on the last two games. Mm. So, I uh, wonder if he has 5 2, or maybe he just likes to get the settlers. A lot of landmarks, huh? So. No draw, basically, right? Yeah, no draw. Well, the only draw is like a sad settlers bustling village kind of thing. 
and Silas is very looks very good here. <clears throat> If he stone masons for two settlers now, he will totally cut me off of those. Uh, basically, uh, which actually might be a correct move for him. Mm. I can also just stone mason for two settlers, but on the other hand, I would you know I would just get the silos. Uh, let's try and go for that. Hey, I got some labyrinth points. Mm. I kind of I've done it because you know this pile kind of looks a bit uh, you know important because both tower and triumphal arch gonna depend on you know. They're gonna get revealed. There is no way around this. I mean the villages, and we're gonna we're gonna empty this pile most likely. So you kind of you kind of want those, and also they're they're the only like draw potentially on, on this board. So all right, so he just did. Uh, uh, he didn't have this uh, terrible sin sinister plan, huh? Uh, sinister plot to to like. To get all the settlers, he just had five two. Um, I guess I'll. Well, I can take the settlers here. That'll make my deck terrible. Let's get a silver. I kind of want to hit five. Uh, that gives him more. Settlers, but whatever. Uh, let's get the Silas here, sure. I wonder if it's worth it uh, to trash the states for coppers here. I mean, it's usually a terrible thing to do, but now with the Silas and with the Settlers, it might be not that terrible. Um, do I want to do it? It also gives me some labyrinth points. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, bustling village, or do I want like a displace or a butcher? Let's get a village. It feels wrong a bit, but. Mm. Silas is extremely good. He should take, yeah. That's what he does. Uh, take over. Oh, hey, that's seven. Seven is amazing. Uh, you know what? I'll just go ahead and grab all those villages. So that ain't amazing. I'm not going to. I'm not going to get a whole lot of draw out of my uh, stuff here. How about just... How about just maybe discarding one copper, and if I draw the village... Uh, if I draw the village, I still I don't hit 5, right? Yeah, okay, let's discard everything and see what we can get. Uh, some settlers, apparently. Okay. Hmm. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to just get those coppers just because, you know, labyrinth points. And Camel Train does not give you labyrinth points, right? Yeah, because Exiling does not count as gain. 
Uh, and probably I want the camel train, right? Or do I? Do I just get a sewer? Let's get the camel train. All right, he gets up to seven. So that's good for him. Ew. Wow, that's bad. There are two villages down there. That's that's really a sour draw. All right. Uh, what can I do about it? I mean, do I want to trash anything? Uh, yeah, that's that's just not very good. I feel like I feel like what I'm doing with you know trashing those uh, states for coppers is just terrible. Why am I doing this? Uh, by the way, uh, should I just maybe like run a stonemason pile? Hmm. Uh, he can't really displace the whole lot of stuff into like provinces quickly. Uh, he has to dis. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do plan to tower the coppers. Mm. But actually, I might I might want to try to tower the stonemasons. Yeah, this deck is a mess anyway. Let's go for it. That was a terrible draw for me to bottom deck those two villages. That was like a rotten. Mm. Styles in state. So what's the third pile gonna be? The problem is I don't. Um, yeah, I can I don't have the whole lot of stone mason targets. That's the problem. Ah. Uh, Ray coppers, yay. Hmm. Uh, okay, so what's next? I mean, I can get on more stone masons. Hmm. I. You know what? I can get camel trains. Yeah? They kind of come in pairs, basically, and I can... Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna rush it. I'm gonna try and rush it. Oh, he exiled all his estates. So he doesn't have extra six coppers in his deck. <laughs> oh, well, that's a benefit for him. That's, uh, I... It's definitely, I'd rather not have those extra six coppers in my deck. I'm not, I'm not sure why I was doing that all the time. So, uh, I still have another do I have three villages or do I just have two? I think I have three villages, right? Mm, yeah. So I might still draw one. That would be very nice. I might uh, kill the sewer. Or I, if I hit five, I might just uh, overpay for camel trains again. Mm. That's a uh, pretty underwhelming gift. I mean, it's not get, it's not bad, but it's just doesn't do the whole lot. I, I'm not sure why we, why you want to bard here, to be honest. I'd rather, you know, just if you want something like that, I'd rather just get the nomad camp. It's at least a plus buy, which might prove useful. So let's see what he uh, exiles here. 
might be just a gold to be honest. I think he's his best. Oh, Excelsior Stone Mason. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Sells the copper and gets what? Stone Mason? Yeah. Oh. He wants to. He wants to do that, apparently. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Damn it, where is my... Why I keep bottom decking those villages? All right. Well. Mm, yeah. Uh, so what can I do now? Mm -hmm. I guess I can turn sewer into a couple of estates. And also, yeah, I kind of bottom deck this camel train, which is also not great, because I I would want to play it. And didn't hit five. Okay, that was a bad turn. Mm. So just get three states. I think so. All right. I mean. I don't know what else I'm going to get. <clears throat> so my last card is a camel train, right? Or did I just draw it dead? Like, did, did I just play it at have I played it already and forgot? Is it possible? Let's try and look for that in the log. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I think I haven't played my Camel Train, so it must be the last card in the deck, so... Mm. With what I have, with what I, with with the turn I have right now, I can deplete, I can kill three camel trains from this pile, right? While exiling one, oh, uh, no, never mind. Okay, so he doesn't, he doesn't go for for like anything like that. Uh, I mean, how likely is that I'm going to mm, I'm going to do better than that? If I just uh, discard a copper stone mason village for two camel trains. Oh no, never mind. I can't do that, right? I I need to play the village. Uh, so in this case, I I just uh, yeah okay. Let's just do that. Take settlers, but I mean, do I want to play the settlers? I guess if I draw the sewer. Oh no, it it, it won't work. I guess if I draw the village, uh, I win, right? Uh, let's let's go for it. Well, didn't happen. Mm, that's fine. Uh, end actions. Yeah, the camel train. Uh, discard from exile. Yeah, let's let's do all this stuff. Uh, all right, I, I should be good here, right? Such a silly board. But, uh, I'm doing fine. Mm, I mean, 
I'm not sure if you can really do anything here. Uh, if I if I find one of my villages, I win. And actually, uh, it would be really hard for me to do uh, to do anything if I do not. So I might just, you know, be very conservative about it and just not discard the coppers. But I think it's bad. Yeah, like the worst case, I guess, you know, I, I just buy an estate. Thing is, uh, I should be good. I don't, I just don't see how he can really score a lot of points, you know. Okay, I just win here. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, that that was you know some questionable place on my side, definitely. Especially with turning the states into coppers, but it it end, you know it turned out being fine. So. So that should be the last one, and I'll be right back. All right. Mm. So uh, the trash in here is count, and uh, we have we have the horse. Okay, that that's a quite quite strong of a board, but not the whole lot of draw. Well, actually, zero draw. All right. We have we don't have any, any draw before cities are triggered. We can do some sound shenanigans and some we have the horse shenanigans, I guess. But you definitely don't want miser, right? Yeah. So count is just way better. Oh, yeah, actually, a legionary should be nasty here, right? With especially with the lack of draw. I guess you just go double sewer. Yeah, I really want to hit, uh, hit the count. Uh, let's get the market square here. I don't want more sewers. So the question is, do you do you get the artisan first, or I think I think yeah, I agree with artisan, and that's very nice. Also here. Uh, do I want to play this market square? I mean, what does it give me? Uh, I think I I can just go get the arena points for that, and top top deck the count. I mean, I don't really f see the whole lot of benefit from playing this market square. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 
maybe it's wrong. Maybe you just want to cycle, but it's fine. That's a nice uh, count. Uh, I guess I could have gotten another state, but whatever. It's it's good enough. So here I have options. Uh, one option is to just buy the CD. Another option is to summon the market square. I feel like those are two main things for me to do here. Mm, summoning the market square would be the best for the next turn. But uh, getting the city would be better for the long in the long run, I think. Uh, let's try the summoning thing. I mean, the ideal thing would be to. Okay, we didn't really uh, get there. Uh, okay, you know what? I think the next turn, you probably I probably want to trash like one more time or something. So I should summon for the next turn, and it's very good, very convenient that my estates and that my silvers are all here, and estates are all there. So yeah, I should definitely try for a bigger summon this turn, the next turn. Uh, what should I get here though? Like bridge troll. Uh, It would be fine, I guess. Yeah. Complaint. And, uh, but, uh, I mean, it's mostly just gonna attack him a bit. I, I'm not sure if it's important. Oh wait, never mind. I can I can now summon. Yeah, I'm, okay, it's, it's all have been planned. It's all have been planned. <laughs> Definitely I summon a city now, so, yeah. And, I just need to find my account now, which is likely, but not guaranteed. And if I don't find the count, it's gonna be terrible. If I do find, find the count though, I feel like I'm extremely, I'm gonna be extremely ahead there. But it's, uh... Two out of three chances now. Uh, never mind, it's 100 chance because I can horse this market square. Okay, I don't need to. Uh, do I still want to do it though? Because it's, uh, it's just all coppers, right? It's just all coppers. Uh, is trashing the copper better than keeping the market square? Let's go. With, oh, never mind. There was another market square. Oh, that was kind of silly then, but whatever. Top deck, trash hand. Okay, I, f I feel good about this uh, whole setup. So now I don't really need this count all that much anymore, to be honest. Right? Oh, I can, yeah, I can horse it. Horse it away. Uh, and get, uh, so you know, uh, summons the market square. Uh, I'll just play those, right? Uh, yeah, not ideal, but sure, I'll just say good. Oh my god, bottom deck the city. It's terrible. Um, yeah, it ain't good. But oh well, it happened. So probably I, I should play the bridge troll here and sound the city, right? I get the arena points at least, which is, you know, not 
too important, but whatever. I kind of want to set up the whole legionary thing, but probably uh, right now just uh, get get more draw. Not, I mean, we ain't exactly getting more draw by <laughs> buying those cities, but. He still has two estates. Mm, I'm the only one who got the copper from the supply, I think, right? Well, I'm I'm too lazy to count on um, uh, how many coppers uh, he has, but uh, quite some, I think. He definitely needs to trash uh, uh, once again. Oh, uh, you know, tax uh, tax me probably trashes here. Yeah, that's a good uh, trash for him. Sure, to play the city. Oh, last card is a silver. So I guess I'll top deck the city and play the bridge troll. Looks good to me. Uh, and I probably want a second artisan. Um, well, I kind of want a lot of things, to be honest. Uh, so one thing is, uh, one very good thing would be to top deck, to summon the city again. Another thing would be to buy an artisan. Well, I can summon the artisan. Because getting the second artisan would... Uh, would help me to set up the uh, replay uh, the legionary attack next time. Yeah, okay, I'll go for it. Sound the artisan. This is what it's going to be. And having two artisans will eventually help me to get like a lot of cities. And he doesn't have the whole lot of a turn here. So that's great. He can summon the city here, nothing wrong with that. Or like a bridge troll. Um, yeah, play the artisan. So, do I want to mess with uh, gold and legionary? Or do I just get a cities? I think I want to mess around. Yeah, let's go for it. Mm. Horse this market square, maybe. So I would really like to find the bridge troll. Well, no, let's just play it. Uh, okay, we were able to find everything. So artisan for legionary, top deck the copper, I guess. Uh, Well, never mind. I'm probably just going to buy two cities here, to be honest. Okay. I think the attack is going to be really annoying for him. In, in the... well, we don't have the draw, so... I might do... I might horse some of those market squares. Yeah, someone is... someone is good, but at this point Probably it's a bit too expensive, right? Because um, if you, s yeah, actually those market squares are really nice to buy for cheap, right? Because uh, it's like basically it's, it's they're like horses, right? So his turn did not amount to the whole lot. Uh, I'll horse this one, sure. Uh, that's not great. All right, whatever, just a bridge draw, right? Yeah, that's not a good draw, but that's okay. Uh, can summon the city and buy two market square, two market squares, or should I just buy two cities? I, th I think summoning is better. 
Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sure who has four cities. I think I do. But maybe I'm wrong. Um, you can get the rest of the cities here. Oh, he only has two cities, right? Yeah, his last card must be... His last card is an artisan. He only has two cities. So I have five cities right now. Hmm... Okay, yeah, he's in, he's in a bad shape. He has uh, more bridge trolls. I need to look out for that. And has more, uh, gets more of those. And more market squares. All right. Uh, miser? All right, okay, I see. So this miser is because he... Uh, he uh, is slightly afraid of the piles going too low, and uh, but he wants himself a horse. Mm, play the city. He's not going to play the whole lot of... He's not going to pile on me, I don't think. Uh, and in fact, I, I'll probably can green here a bit. All right, uh, let's just play the cities. And uh, yeah, I want to draw everything here. And I'll uh, horse those market squares. Don't really need the whole lot of buys. Mm, here's my gold. I kind of want to find the bridge troll. Let's try and do that. All right. Mm. Is he gonna legionary attack him? I definitely would need to get a province this turn. So play this bridge troll. My last card is probably like a copper, so I probably have zero market squares now. So can I like buy a province and summon uh, like a city or like summon something actually, summon like a miser more likely. Mm. Well, anyway, I think I just want more bridge trolls in play uh, and even more uh, thing is yeah the piles are kind of low but if he's if he wants to draw he will return the whole bunch of market squares yeah so I, I'm not too afraid of the piles to be honest and the next turn actually might be uh, very good for me uh, Let's summon the artisan, right? I can horse it, or I can do otherwise, depending on the situation. Or maybe I should just double friends. Uh, I'm good. I don't. Th I don't think I should. Uh, I can get a couple of misers here. I can get three misers here, right? Yeah. That's good. So, uh, let's see what you can do here. Mm. Well, uh, it's kind of close but not really eh, it, it ain't close at all right yeah not enough money simply to do like anything at all and actually the the buys are also not there so all 
I mean, honestly, I'm not sure what you should do now. You should probably get like a bunch of random actions without lowering the piles, like to play them as horses in the next turn, but get more misers, market square. Two market squares, huh? More he lowers he lowers the piles a lot here. It's a duchy. Uh, really? Why would you want a duchy? Two duchies, huh? Maybe, well, that calls for a third duchy, I guess. If, I, I mean, the only reason would be if he wants to be ahead in points. All right. So what can I do now? What are my options? My, there is one option of, you know, like trying to, trying to pile, basically. Uh, I have five cities. So, if I draw, <clears throat> he's slightly ahead in points, but uh, that's not significant. So if I get all the bridge draws, all the series, you know what? I th I think I should go for the pile out here. I think it's extremely likely for me to be able to do that uh do i play this artisan i th but probably i still horse this artisan yeah i like that and horse the market square oh uh, okay it's less than ideal i need to find uh, my second artisan Hmm. Should I return a city? Yeah, let's return one city. Okay, here's the miser. Where's this? Damn it. Hmm. So when, okay. Mm. When I get, actually, do I like have it in hand or something? Uh, I, it must be pretty damn close to it. I need six. I need seven gains. Oh, never mind. I can six gains and arena. Uh, do I like have it right now? I want. I have five bars. Uh, I think I have it right. Uh, okay. I can definitely play SC. Uh, horse this miser, sure. Horse this uh, legionary. Yeah, I must have it now. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go with that. And go with that. Draw those. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I just play everything now. Uh, get the arena points so I'm ahead in points oh wait a second I what am I doing Ch oh my god I okay apparently I, I I managed to to pile this board oh my god it's what have I done <laughs> oh my god hmm uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm short on, I can't win here, right? Yeah. Uh, seven, 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 it's, it's not there. Eight, eight is a minimum. Uh, okay. So that happened. Okay, let's get a bunch of provinces.
and uh, a bunch of horses like one two three all different yeah wow like what the hell happened i i was sure i had the piles but i only i only had two piles not three piles but there i'm almost positively sure there was a way for me to end it there but right now uh, yeah and i didn't attack him he might uh, he might get enough he might get enough uh, points here so three points is like 18 so he'll be at 31 yeah and dutches are basically free for him so if he manages to play enough bridge trolls uh, although maybe he will not have enough money yeah mm. so can, he can have appearance on like yeah, I don't think I can have it here like well yeah because dashes are also not free for him they cost one uh, he can empty dutches and market squares, but that's not enough. Okay, yeah. Well, despite me uh, screwing this up royally, I was still like apparently so much ahead that uh, I can still win this one apparently. Mm, that doesn't look too good, but hey, we can horse everything. Mm. So let's check. Um, maybe I have it now. Uh, Provinces cost three. No, I don't have it now. Well, okay, it doesn't need to be. Doesn't need to be provinces, uh, but it's still not quite enough. And you know what? I can get all the dashes and what is he going to do here? Nothing. He won't be able to do anything. Yeah. I'll go for it. So I get prawns and five dashes. Yeah, he, he has nothing. Uh, I mean, I have more than half a VP. He can't do anything about it. I mean, I guess he can uh, give me 10 curses. But I'm not sure if even then it's going to be enough. So, yeah. Um, does it mean I won four games out of six? I think it does. Uh, I don't remember already. But I think it's uh, four, two in my favor. Well, yeah, that's his glorious turn, but uh, it's too late. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what he's uh, trying to count now, but yeah. All right, so yeah, uh, GG's. Is it uh, for two? I I think it is for two. All right, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.